Hello guys, welcome to FreeWords You and welcome to 75 day hard generative e-learning channel and this is day 65. And in last video you see how 1 bit and 1.58 bit large language model quantization works. That is the best quantization until today. So in this video, let's do Python implementation of quantization technique from scratch to quantize any kind of large language model. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first thing is, you know about quantization that it helps to uh, decrease the size of the large language model by uh, quantizing its uh, bits, bits from the like weights or its activation function from the floating point 32 bit to the uh, integer 8 or like binary float or you can see about the 1.5 or uh, 1 bit quantization techniques as well. Okay, so that if we lower the size of the large language model or its uh, uh, precision, its accuracy drops as well. But also we get a very small size large language model. So to maintain its accuracy, we build like various kind of quantization techniques that also maintain the accuracy, but also uh, decrease the size and also gives us some memory efficient large language model. So these techniques are GPTQ, AWQ, and bits and byte NF4 quantizations. Okay, so let's get started with one of these techniques one by one. The first technique is called GPTQ quantization. So GPTQ is a post training quantization. So that means it works on a already pre trained large language model. Okay, so in this, we do the same kind of uh, uh, quantization wherein the weights of an already skilled large language model are transformed to a lower precision without any kind of retraining okay this is the like best method until now okay so it completely based on a one shot weight quantization method because it based on the approximation of a second order information that is both highly accurate and highly efficient as well the main idea that is uh, behind uh, this gptq quantization technique is that it will try to compress all the weights to the 4-bit quantization by minimizing the mean squared error to the weights between the original layer and the new quantized layer. So in that way, your model size will be drastically decreased, but your accuracy is still maintained because of its second order information approximation. Okay. So if you see this, I just uh, install these basic libraries here, transformers, optimum, accelerate, auto GPTQ. These libraries are completely required if you want to use this GPTQ quantization. So here I first uh, load a very pre-trained large language model. This model is not quantized yet. Okay, so the total number of parameters in this model are here. It is like uh, above that 12 crore. Okay, now, now when I uh, try to uh, quantize it, I build a quantization configuration here i use the bibits to 4 and also pass my large language model along with the tokenizer so when i uh, quantize it it takes some time to quantize because it is a very uh, big large language model so when it happens the total number of uh, uh, parameters drops to only 4 crore 2 lakhs okay so in that way you just drops the size of a 12 crore large language model to the 4 crore large language model. Okay, so in that way you can uh, reduce the size and also the parameters as well. Okay, so our next uh, uh, technique is called AWQ quantization. That is activation aware weight quantization, which is uh, most similar to the GPTQ. There are like several differences between the AWQ and GPTQ methods, but the most important one is that AWQ assumes that not all weights are equally important to the large language model performance. So a small fraction of weights will be skipped during the quantizations will, which helps in the quantization loss. So as a result, a significant speed up compared to the GPTQ will we see in this AWQ quantization because it does not consider all the weights while doing the quantization. So it is faster than the GPTQ quantization. Okay, and AWQ perform the zero point quantization down to the four bit integers. It is same as the GPTQ. Okay, but some models like Falcon is only compatible with the group size of 64. And to use Marlin, 
we you need to specify the zero point as false and version as a margin because that i already explained in my last videos where we uh, work on the quantizations where we have to specify the zero point like we need to calculate the z as such so you, you can watch those videos to understand the complete concept about it okay so we install this kind of awq library here and i uh, load the mistral 7 billion large language model and also the quantization configuration as well and then i build the raw model and then i try to uh, quantize it and when i completely quantize it its total number of parameters also got dropped i don't like uh, uh, show these kind of parameters because this uh, kind of large language model need a very huge kind of uh, uh, gpu as well and that that is not currently available in the kegel but you know this code completely works as, as i already uh, tested it in the cloud as well okay so now the next technique is called bits and byte nf4 so bits and byte is the easiest way to quantize any large language model to 8-bit or the 4-bit quantization as well it works in the three steps the first step is called normalization the weights of the model are normalized so that we expect the weights to fall within a certain range okay this allows for efficient representation of the more common values and then we do the quantization the weights are quantized to the 4-bit or 8-bit so in nf4 the quantization levels are evenly spaced with respect to the normalized weight thereby efficiently representing the original 32-bit format weights as well okay and then the next step is called dequantization so although the weights are stored in the 4-bit they are dequantized during the computation which gives a performance boost during the inference as i already told you that uh, weights are in the like small bit precision but when we are doing the calculations they are mapped to the high bit uh, precisions to do the calculation that's why the int and the float calculations are same okay it represents the weight with the 4 bit quantization but does the inference in 16 bit so this is a wonderful technique but it seems rather wasteful to have to apply them every time you need to load the model so you just need, need to uh, build a pre-trained large language model quantize it and save it in the hugging face hub and load that quantized model again and again to do the work okay so i will show you that how we can do it we just uh, uh, try to install this bits and byte config library here and we can build a quantization function here so that function has how much quantization do you need and uh, what is your quant type what is your double quant type but what is your compute type as well so i mentioned everything here and this configuration allows us to specify which quantization levels are uh, we are going to use and uh, we can only use the four bit quantizations because that do the inference or do the calculations in the 16 bit quantization as well okay then i load a large language model here and uh, this kind of large language model i pass my quantization configuration as well and then i ask him to do some kind of uh, generation of a tweet as well and it also generate a very good tweet here as well and then i check for my raw model and it shows that my parameters are dropped like this from 72 uh, crore to the uh, 37 crore so in that way you just uh, drop your a uh, complete model size or like model parameters in in that way to just to uh, quantize your large language models okay and then we have the actual difference between these kind of large language uh, model quantization techniques so the first technique we have is the bits and byte so bits and byte this method quantize the model by using the hugging face weights so very easy to imp implement as well it is slower than the other quantization techniques as well as the 16-bit large language model and this technique is wonderful but it seems rather wasteful to apply because if you are not saving your large language model after the quantization as well and it takes longer time to load the model weights but if if we talk about the gptq so the gptq is much faster th than the bits and byte and new model architectures are promptly supported in the auto gptq as well but the challenges here are that we need to quantize the model weights to gptq weight before we 
you use it in the production and high computation is re uh, required as well along with we need approximately 16 gb of gpu memory to quantize the 7 billion uh, parameter model as well okay so and now let's talk about the awq uh, we read its uh, research paper that mentions a significant speed up compared to the gptq because it's ignore uh, like uh, some kind of weights as well but it has newer architectures like gamma uh, or like uh, desi lie language model it does not support in the awq quantizations yet okay so i hope you guys completely understand that how you can implement these kind of quantizations from the scratch on your own large language model with these kind of small codes as well okay and uh, in our next video i will completely explain how you can build the large language model evaluation framework from the scratch by using the python language as well okay and if you want to know more about uh, uh, prompt engineering generative ai large language models you can watch my videos on youtube also read my blogs on medium we'll meet in our next video thank guys thank you so much